How are you? How you doing? How you feeling? Happy New Year! It is 2017! Actually recording this in 2016 still, but um, uh, uh, what had happened was, uh, I had lots of videos pre-recorded to upload before this one, so I thought I'd film this now and upload it way later after the ones I've already got finished. And just a disclaimer, I want you guys to know that whenever I do like hauls or reviews or stuff like this where I receive stuff or I buy stuff, I am not being in any way like in your face, look what I got, bragging, I'm not like that. I'm more so making this video because a lot of people have asked me what I got for Christmas so I might as well just make a video instead of answering because I actually <laughs> don't have the ability to remember all the things I got gifted and that sounds really bad but I mean I just I have to have a list of things if I want them to remember them so I thought video would be the best way and I also want to thank again everyone that got me stuff just like the year in review video that I made this one will also be really good to look back on to cherish the memories and all the nice things I got from people that love and care about me. I am so grateful this year just like every other year but this year was really special to me because I got to spend time with three different families. The first one being my family, my mom, my dad, my brothers, and my boyfriend. The second being my boyfriend's mom's side of the family, and the third being my boyfriend's dad's side of the family. They are all lovely people. I mean, I'm used to my Christmas and it was yummy and delicious and awesome and I got really nice things and spent wonderful time with my family, but my boyfriend's family really reminded me of my entire family, like when I used to have Christmas back home in Venezuela. It reminded me a lot of the times I used to have over there with so many jokes and love and care and just togetherness. So amazing. I was so happy to spend it with them and then I got really sad when it was over because then I started thinking about my family and my uncle that we lost this year and it was just overwhelming like all the different emotions. But I'm so 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 grateful that I got to spend that time with my boyfriend's family and that he got to spend Christmas at my mom's too. So let's get down to it. Where do I start? <laughs> I'm gonna start with what my boyfriend's parents got me. They got me this card. It says, Joy, Peace, and Love. Dear Vanessa, may the joy, peace, and love of the holiday season be yours throughout the year. It's been fun having you join us in 2016. Look forward to more cheer in 2017. Love, Bill and Rita. So cute. They are actually the cutest. They cried at my gift. I gave them a personalized cutting board that had D for their last name, Davidson, and a quote that said, family, where life begins and love never ends. And I mentioned this quote back when I filmed my long distance family video and they just loved it. They literally cried. I was like, oh no. I also wrote them a really nice Christmas card that they also cried at, like both of them. I gave them a big hug. So we bonded really well. It was really nice. They also got me this Christmas ornament. This is my boyfriend and I at a birthday gathering that we went to in Toronto. Aren't we so cute? And the funniest thing is that I was harassing my boyfriend for the longest time to get his mom to get me these pictures that she's taken of us because she takes so many pictures and I had never seen any. And then I got some for Christmas. I got these ones too. This is at another birthday gathering that we had with his family. So cute! She also got me a copy of The Way of a Boy, which I am sure is going to be such a good book. This book was written by Ernest Hillen, which is Gordon's uncle. Gordon is my boyfriend. I don't know if I've said that on my channel yet. Yeah, how cool is that? On the back it says, McLean's number one nonfiction editor's choice for 1993. Now magazine's number one nonfiction editor's choice for 1993. Editor's choice selection of the Globe and Mail, the Toronto Star, and the Financial Post. So that's pretty cool. I cannot wait to read this. And it also has a lot of sentimental value because it belonged to Gordon's late grandma. Felt really special when I got that one. And they also got me <gasps> the coziest throw blankie. Oh my goodness, it's so comfy. I'm actually so happy about this one because I'll show you one of the presents. I'll show you this one next. You can see it right there. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> this one goes with something my mom got me that I wanted. Because as you can see, well you can't see the white here. But you can see the gray behind me. These are my curtains. And I want my entire room to be white and gray. So this goes perfectly with that. Next up, as promised, oh, I got a bed set. I have to flip it around. So currently, 
This looks so funny. Currently I have the tackiest like black and red comforter set on my bed that my grandma had gotten me so I didn't have the heart to get a new one but it's time it's getting a little old I'm getting over the whole red thing I want everything to be white and gray so now I'm gonna have this see the picture oh my goodness this is heavy oh my mother got me that one and I am so happy fresh new bed Ugh, I can't wait I haven't even opened anything just so I could do this video so I'm so excited to actually change my bed into this since I am just the luckiest, there's more. I honestly got so spoiled this year. I feel so special and loved. Thank you so much to everyone that got me something. So next up, I have this pile, which is from my boyfriend's mom. She got me for Secret Santa. That's what his mom's side of the family did for Christmas. And on my wish list, I had a beauty blender, a black one, which she got me. So excited to pop that one open. Oh my goodness, my pink one that I always use is... Ugh, old. Then I got some Pyrex containers. Yes! This was also on my wish list because I like to cook in bulk. So whenever I cook anything, now I have a huge container to... That's the lid, but <laughs> you get the idea. I have a huge container to put all of that in, so I really, really needed that. And this one, oh my goodness, I literally teared up when I saw this. Finger puppets! This was not on my wish list, but she got me this because she knows what I do for a living. And it just hit, it just hit the spot. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. They are so adorable. We have an elephant, a lion, a duck, a giraffe, a little sea lion, another lion. Did I say this one was a lion? This one's a bear. <laughs> they're all like circus themed. Oh my goodness. I love them and I can't wait to use them and preserve them. These are so special to me just because it's from my boyfriend's mom that I never want them to get ruined. I don't think I'll ever have my kids touch these. I'm just gonna do a finger puppet show and put them right away so they don't get messed up. I also got, this is empty. <laughs> because I left it at my boyfriend's house. He has like a place to store booze. I don't, but I got a bottle of pink Moscato from Gordon's cousin and his girlfriend. Their names are Hayden and Taryn, and I nicknamed them Heron. So when they wrote my little card here, they said to Vanessa from Heron. <laughs> Love that. This is another one that came with another bottle, but I can't remember what it was. It was some kind of fancy wine that I also left at Gordon's, along with these earrings, which apparently were made out of cow hops. <laughs> Check these out. These are so, like, unique. I can't wait to wear them. That was from Gordon's cousin, Meryl. She put this into a $25 <laughs> gift exchange we did, as well as the Secret Santa. And this is what I got. I think I chose something first and I think it was all chocolate. Someone stole it from me and then I picked up this and kept it for keeps. Kept it for keeps? Can you even say that? Whatever. Then I got a $40 gift certificate to, oh the candies are gonna fall. Candy and a $40 gift certificate, I don't know if you can see that, to Cineplex from Gordon's aunt and uncle Peter and Kim which was so nice of them. I'm actually using that tomorrow with Gordon's cousin's girlfriend Taryn. We're gonna go to the fancy VIP movie theater and I'm so excited for girls night. This is not full because I've munched on it and I'm actually probably gonna grab one right now but this I got from my dad because he doesn't support drinking so he got me a bottle of candy instead of a bottle of alcohol but he fooled himself because he didn't know that you open it like this and then it's a wine glass. So without even knowing, he got me a wine glass. Thanks, Dad. I'm going to be drinking lots in this. <laughs> I'm going to have a Snickers. Christmas is like my second Halloween. I always get so many chocolates because they know I love it. Next up, I got this box with seven gifts in it because we watched a movie. I don't remember the name of it, but we watched that movie with Brad Pitt that has like the de the seven deadly sins in it from like this murderer guy. And the biggest quote of this movie is, what's in the box? At the very end of the movie, it's very intense. So he put that on the box and I thought it was so funny. A little bit awkward to open in front of his family, seven deadly sins. Like it was my first time out as Christmas, so I was like <laughs> sweating buckets, ripping everything open because he wrapped every single thing that's in here. But I'm going to try to remember which sin is which gift or which gift is which sin. Pretty sure this one is greed because it's a gift pack of lottery tickets and it says to Chica. That's my nickname that my boyfriend gives me and his family, I think, from John Doe, which I think is the guy from the movie. <laughs> 
For Envy, he was so lame because I love Christmas and I claim that I know Santa and I love him and I'm his favorite and all of that. So he photoshopped a picture of himself with Santa. At the top here, you can't see it, but it says, Santa, I know him, because I literally have a shirt that says that. Am I going to put that on my wall? Maybe. I should. <laughs> then he also got me, I don't remember what which sim this is for, but he got me a mount for my phone to put it in my car, which is awesome because little does he know that yes i need it to use my gps but i'll also probably be doing some car vlogs so youtube watch out i'm coming for ya i am so excited about this because every time i need to go somewhere that i need directions for i just put my phone in my cup holder and i have to like be looking over my gear shift handle thing i have to look over it to like at my phone so i can see where i'm going it's just he saved my life with that one. I believe this one is Wrath, and he got me a movie called Secret Santa. I am so excited to watch this movie. This was directed by Gordon's cousin's fiance, and ever since I knew about it, Gordon took part in this and a bunch of his friends, and I'm so excited to watch this. I definitely recommend this. This is a horror comedy for Christmas, and I'm sure you guys will love it. There's been really good reviews about it. And I can't wait to bust this open and watch it. But I can't watch it by myself. I have to watch it with them. So I'm so impatient though. So impatient. This was really embarrassing to <laughs> open in front of his family. And I literally asked him like, am I showing this? And he said, yeah. This came along with something else he gave me separately. Thank God. But for lust, he gave me a lollipop. Is this even YouTube appropriate? I don't know. But <sighs> no comment. <laughs> For Sloth, he gave me a Amazon gift card for $25, which I'm so excited about because I was actually planning on buying a lot of stuff on Amazon, so that will be really helpful. For Gluttony, I think that's how you say it, he got me a gift card to my favorite restaurant in the whole entire world, which is a sushi restaurant for $50. And I am in fact using that today after I'm done filming this video. Yum! Last but not least of his presents, he also got me a mirror that I needed. I'm going to show it right here on screen. I needed this mirror so badly. Ever since I moved into my new home, I've only had a vanity mirror. And now I have this one to check myself out and like an outfit one. You know, you always need a full body one. A girl needs her things, you know. And he remembered me telling him that. So he got me one and I was so happy to see it. I knew what it was because if you wrap a mirror, I mean, you know what it is. Next up, I got... A bed sheet which I forgot to show with my comforter set it's not fully blank it actually has writing on it let me see if I can work with the lighting here there you go has like compassion and humility and all those kind words written on it which I love so it's not just like a plain white blanket also from my mother thanks mother next up I got of course no Christmas of mine is ever lacking any of these but this is from Andrea my boyfriend's sister and her boyfriend. They got me the best chocolate place in town. I don't know how they knew this. They, I actually got them something from here too. Um, Laura Secord chocolate. Along with a Dior Show mascara. If you guys have seen my old videos, you know how much I love this mascara. And I put it on my wish list this year. And they saw that, so they got me it. And I was so happy. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to use it! Another little Sephora bag. In this one, there is a little purse. Which is useful because... I lost two wallets in the span of two months, so now I have a new one that I'm going to stuff somewhere that I, I won't lose. This is from my brother. He literally called me <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve and said, what should I get you for Christmas? And I listed off a bunch of things, so I guess he chose one of these. And he also got me slippers that didn't fit, so he needs to get me new ones. <laughs> this is the new packaging for gift cards. At first I was like, what is this? But no, yeah, it's a Sephora card that I already used because... Y'all already know that Sweet Peach palette just came out and I got that on lock! And that completes my Too Faced palettes. And last but not least, I got a bathrobe set. Yeah, so we have a bathrobe, a little headpiece, a... what do you call these again? Eye mask, and two loofahs. This was really cute. This was from my employers. This makes me feel like such a princess. It's so soft and I've already used it, but I put it back in the box to put it in this video. And that's it. I am so thankful for all the company. I was asked often what my favorite gift was. And honestly, it was just everyone's presence, everyone's love, 
the food, the memories, the laughter, like that is what Christmas is all about to me. Like not all of this. I'm so grateful that people got me all of this, but what really mattered was being there and being so happy together. This year's Christmases were really special and definitely ones to remember. But yeah, that's what I got for Christmas 2016. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big like. Subscribe if you haven't already because it's free. And I'll see you guys next time.